We've all been there before. We have our FEA study set up and ready to run. We hit the go button, only to find that our model is under constraint and some of our parts are trying to fly away. Then we spend the next half hour trying to figure out which part is un unconstrained and how to fix it. In 2014, SOLIDWORKS introduced the Contact Visualization Plot, a tool to visualize the relationships between bodies in a study allowing you to quickly identify constraint issues. However, it was only available in SOLIDWORKS Simulation Pro and Premium licenses. That is, until now. Starting with 2019 SP4, the Contact Visualization Plot is now available to every SOLIDWORKS Simulation user. So today, we're going to do a quick walkthrough of this extremely handy tool. Here, I have a pretty straightforward assembly study. This is a bit of an exaggeration, but in weldment design like this, it's common to use weld gaps for weld penetration and tolerance stack-up consideration, meaning by default, most of the plate bodies that will be welded together in the finished product won't be touching in the model, and my global contact won't apply. In these cases, we can use a local contact to simulate that relationship. To verify my parts interact correctly, I'm going to use the contact visualization plot, which I can access by right-clicking on the study contacts and selecting contact visualization plot. The contact visualization plot is actually two tools in one. Show Contacts allows me to visualize all the contacts that exist in my study, while Under Constrained Body shows any body with degrees of freedom. Starting with Show Contact, by default, the entire assembly is selected, but I can choose specific parts to display contacts between those parts if I need to. Selecting Calculate allows me to display all the contacts for this assembly, which are visualized in the graphics area using the legend found here. Selecting contacts in this results folder displays that specific contact in the graphics area, allowing you to quickly determine if the behavior is accurate for your study. Moving over to the Under Constrained Bodies tab, this tool allows us to detect if the components within the study are significantly constrained by fixtures, contact pairs, or connections. Selecting Calculate will run a very rough study to determine which bodies within the study are under constrained and how they can move. Here you can see the support plate has rotational and translational degrees of freedom that I'll need to address before moving forward. Guys, I hope you found that tech tip valuable. If you did, please hit the subscribe and notification button below to be kept up to date with the latest SOLIDWORKS news from MLC CAD Systems. If you want to learn more about increasing efficiency in your design validation tasks, reach out to your local MLC CAD Systems representative. And as always, thank you for watching.